What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. Also, I'm a Weebo Preferred Influencer. Their best promotion there in the pen comment, including free stocks if you just open an account. May not even have to deposit. Read their terms and conditions. I gotta say, really disappointed with EA Sports this morning. The patch came out. It is a 12 gig patch, which is massive. I feel like if you're patching something with that amount of data, you should be adding things to the game. And if you're not, it just shows the condition of this game. They start this patch note with hey madden fans i don't know why they can't speak to them specifically you know hello josh you know hello jp you know those people could probably be addressed specifically in a patch like this because there's not many of them left first thank you all for playing madden nfl 22 we feel the excitement from you each year and we know how passionate you are about the game yeah, more passionate than the people working on it. We loved seeing your response to new features like game their momentum and our improvements to franchise. I guess they didn't love seeing those user scores they've been getting. But this is the heart of the matter, just to start things off. There's no apology here, okay? Cyberpunk apologized for releasing their game in the condition that it was. And I feel like by not doing that, we continue to see this lack of acceptance of EA by just how poor its game is. Now, I don't expect them to berate themselves in the patch update, but anyone with even a marginal amount of common sense is going to be able to look at what's projected here and understand just how broken this game is. Let's start with the face of the franchise updates, okay? The first thing they have to put in here is that they updated draft logic to avoid two quarterbacks being drafted on the same team. So understand this concept, right? You've got the draft, you've got... All the draft picks the computer's going to pick in the first round. And then you've got your face of the franchise player. No one ever went in and prevented teams from drafting twice. So they would draft their quarterback from the draft pool and then you. This is something that they pretend to be working on and care about? Absolutely not. Now, as far as NFL authenticity updates, to me, these are visuals, right? When you're talking about the 1994 Monday Night Football all-white Cowboys uniforms, I genuinely do not care. I appreciate that they're working on this. I certainly hope when they updated the likeness of Cam Newton so that his dreads appear outside his helmet, they also made him a free agent. But I don't know if this needs to be leading the way of authenticity updates. Furthermore, when you look at the gameplay updates, pass coverage... Before we get into the gameplay updates, we wanted to let you know we're aware of the feedback about pass coverage. We're continuing to monitor and collect community feedback that have been shared with us, and we look forward to sharing the actions we're taking towards pass coverage. So EA, I've shown NFL players on my channel. I've shown the same play ran over and over on my channel. I've seen just about every person no matter how they feel about this game in our community, speak to the broken pass coverage. Eric Rayweather did a video where he basically gave his players up in the field of play because he was so confident he could continue to score touchdowns on broken coverage. He is a game changer. And you're telling me that you need to monitor more? When they go into the franchise updates, it clearly states here, addresses an issue where some... Some offline franchise players were given an incorrect game result after completing a game. I don't know that I've seen more issues in my life from franchise gamers than I did with that issue. Now, addressing an issue and fixing an issue, I need to know what the difference is. So when you say that you fixed issue with news for off-season stories that doesn't tell me anything that's the second to bottom line fixed issue with news for off-season stories haven't we had this discussion in ea sports general stability improvements don't belong in these blogs because they don't tell us anything now when you say we fixed it authenticity issue around next gen stats and completion percentages i know hey there was an issue with quarterback completion percentages they went in they fixed it the fact that we're getting the most vague and generic things quote unquote fixed but then in other aspects we're hearing the word addressed we're hearing the word improved that isn't telling us the same thing 
Now, I know somebody's going to say, oh my God, this guy is nitpicking the terminology they use in their blogs, but understand in doing so, we're learning why these same issues have went from year to year to year and then spread from console to console to console. How many years do you have to try to address or fix something before it's actually working? Now, what's not mentioned in here is extremely telling. I did an entire video about fatigue being broken in this game. The fatigue is broken where it's only measured if a player actually comes in contact with the ball. So if you throw to a receiver, fatigue will start to be measured. If you run with a running back, fatigue will start to be measured. If you don't, then there's no fatigue to be had. You can have receivers run 100-yard dashes up and down the field on Hail Marys. They're not going to get fatigued, but the moment someone catches a ball or touches the ball or runs with the ball, they will. Also not mentioned in here is a video I just did that talked about how when they're simming these games out, the offense and the defense somehow get swapped in positions. Aaron Rodgers intercepts a pass as a defensive back in the video. The quarterback is the center in the video. The linebacker is the quarterback in the video. None of these things are addressed in this patch. Nor is the pass coverage that we've all talked about being broken. Go back to one of my first videos. I have a former NFL halfback playing the game for the first time. And Tyree Kill runs wide open across the field because no one addresses the fact that he's coming across their zones. I just did a video that showed, using their all-new college football mode, linebackers stand still, corners run back to their zones, even when there's no receiver around, they leave the middle of the field 100% open, and EA Sports is telling us, well, we're just looking into this. We hear your community feedback. We, we think there's a problem we can address. I appreciate that unlike last year, it seems like they're trying to do more in these patches, right? By this time last year, we probably had three or four patches. A day one patch, and then maybe three or four smaller updates. So I do appreciate the fact that they compressed all of this into one patch. That's a positive for those that say I'm only negative. But at the same time, there are still so many things that remain unaddressed, and I'm sorry, some of the things they are addressing are irrelevant to this game right now. I'm not worried about face masks or uniforms being correct, because the reality is many of us are not even playing this game given the current condition it it's in. Not one person is saying, I'm going to overlook this offense. I'm going to look over this defense. I'm going to look over this coverage. I'm going to look over this fatigue because, you know, they've got them 1994 Cowboys uniforms right. And that was the one thing that was turning me off from this game. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking out. And you know, when they can't patch a game, when they're worried about the gloss on a face mask reflecting in a stadium, Instead of making sure safeties and corners know how to play football, I will always be able to be back in the week with more coming.